Ah! A giant asteroid as big as the one that killed the dinosaurs is headed towards Earth. It's going to hit us in only 18 days, and NASA is unprepared. Earth and every living thing on it could be destroyed forever. Okay, okay, you're right. That's the plot to the movie Armageddon starring Bruce Willis. But could it really happen? Could an asteroid hit Earth and cause the destruction of humankind? Space is filled with rocks and other matter left over from the Big Bang. None of this debris, whether it is asteroids, comets, or meteors, is currently on a collision course with Earth. But we do know stuff has hit Earth in the past, and will again in the future. Let's look at what each of these things are, their characteristics, and any impact they've had on Earth or might have in the future. A comet is an icy ball of rock that grows a tail when it travels close to the sun. It grows a tail because as comets heat up, gas and dust are forced from the body and trail behind it. The sun illuminates this trail, which causes it to glow. The glow is visible in the night sky, and what we on Earth see is a streak. The way a comet orbits and the length of its orbit varies greatly from one comet to another. They can have a short period and orbit every few years, or a very long period and orbit every hundred thousand years. Most of the shorter period comets come from the Kuiper Belt, a massive region of small objects, including Pluto, out beyond Neptune. The longer orbit comes from the Oort Cloud, a massive cloud of icy planetesimals very far out in the outer part of the solar system. Every year, Earth sees a few comets. Some of these are comets we expect because they regularly orbit the Sun. The others are new comets that have never been seen before. The best-known comet is Halley's Comet. It last appeared in 1986 and will appear again in 2061. Halley's Comet has been seen every 76 years since 240 BC. Asteroids are small objects that orbit the Sun. They come in sizes from just a few feet across to several miles. Some of the largest asteroids are so big they've been called planetoids. The largest asteroid known so far is named Ceres and it is 950 kilometers wide. There are millions of asteroids in the universe. The majority of them live in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. Most believe asteroids are leftover pieces of matter from the formation of our solar system that are kept in the belt area due to Jupiter's gravitational pull. Others think the asteroid belt is a planet that was broken apart during a collision. There are other small groups of asteroids in the solar system too. One of them is near Earth. Asteroids need to be very big and close enough to Earth to be seen with binoculars or a small telescope. Since Earth was first formed, asteroids have slammed into it. Fortunately for us, though, dangerous asteroids, ones like the one that probably killed off the dinosaurs, are extremely rare. When an asteroid or a part of it crashes into Earth, it's called a meteorite. A meteorite is a natural object that originates in space and enters Earth's atmosphere. When a meteoroid enters Earth's atmosphere, it heats up and gets brighter, looking like a fireball, or, unscientifically, as a shooting, falling star. Meteorites are named for the places they were found. When most meteorites enter Earth's atmosphere, they burn up or disintegrate, but around 500 per year are estimated to make it to Earth's surface. Research on meteorites could tell us a lot about the early solar system, but only about five or six of the hundreds that make it to Earth are found. In Earth's history, there have been a few meteorites that hit it that were big enough to create huge impact craters and cause global changes. An impact of this size 65 million years ago is widely believed to have killed off the dinosaurs. Fortunately, this doesn't happen very often. People still fear asteroids and comets because at some point in Earth's future, one may slam into us and change our history. Astronomers are constantly on the lookout for bodies that are on a catastrophic trajectory. In order to cause catastrophic disaster, an asteroid would have to be bigger than one quarter mile wide. An asteroid of this size would hit Earth so hard that a bunch of debris would be thrown into the atmosphere, thereby lowering Earth's temperature and causing a nuclear winter. According to NASA, though, asteroids that large hit Earth only every one million years or so. Whether it is an asteroid that comes from the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter, an asteroid that hits Earth becoming a meteorite, or a comet, a rocky ball that streaks by the sun forming a tail, space is filled with flying debris left over from the beginnings of the solar system. Such debris has hit Earth before and continues to hit Earth to this day, potentially changing Earth catastrophically in the future.